Hi, in this video today, I would like to show you how to uninstall AdGiver Server 2019 completely on the Windows 10, and then we will try to reinstall it. Okay, I got some message from other people over the world, and they say that uh, when in the first time when they tried to install the FPL server, but they got some error. They don't know how to remove everything of the SQL Server 2019 completely and try to reinstall it. So that means in this video today, I will guide you how to do it. Okay, let's get started. Yeah, and this is my Windows 10. So now I will try to open Control Panel on my PC and see what we have installed for the SQL Server. 2019. Okay. And you see here we have the Microsoft SQL Server and some related application. Okay. We have the yeah, also have SQL Server Management Studio. And so now we should re uh, we should uninstall all of the things related to the SQL Server 2019 on this PC. Okay, let me open the window run. Yeah, okay. So this is a Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. And let me open it first. And then I will access into the uh, database of SQL Server. Okay. And this is the database of SQL Server. And so now here you can see that we have a database. I would close this one and open the window run. Tie in the services. Those MSC. So here on this screen, I can see that's all of the, all of the services of AdGear server is running. Here. At Gear Server, at Gear Server, or the at Gear Server browser, at Gear Server CEIP service, and other thing here. Okay. And then come right to the program. Yeah. I will select the Microsoft at Gear Server 2019 60 bit version first. Click on uninstall button on the menus. Click on remove option. And then we should follow step by step here to uninstall a killer server on the PC. Next. Remove. And we are waiting for a remove, removal pro process is done. Yeah, and so you see here, the removal process is done. We go ahead to do some the uninstall for other services on the on this PC. Uninstall, uninstall Microsoft SQL Server management studio tool. Yeah, close this one and remove other related services. Okay, cool. It seems we have just done some the re removal application on this PC for HPR server. And then we open the window run. Yeah. And you try to set HPR here, but you didn't see anything for the HPR server. Okay. Open window run and go to service. Services of MSC again. And you try into find the, some of the FPL server service on this PC. Yeah. But you see here, we didn't see anything for the FPL server. 
Yeah. So that means we have not removed everything of the SDR server completely is on this PC. Okay. You should restart your Windows PC to make it clean and clear. Yeah. After the Windows PC you restart, you open it again to the control panel. You go to the pro program to verify some SQL server and you didn't see anything here. Open for Windows Run and access to our service, not MFC. You also didn't see any SQL service here. Yeah. Okay. So that means we have thus uninstalled SQL server on this PC completely. Okay. Cannot see anything here. Okay. Cool. So now open browser and then you download the SQL server. 2019, okay, I mean. And then you click on the SQL server 2019. Okay, this is the SQL server 2019 page. We click on the download button on the menu. Yeah. And you scroll it down for some of the special edition. We have developer and express version. That has to download developer version. Install this one. Basic accept and install it. Yeah, install successfully and click on install SMS to install Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio tool. Okay, this tool will help you to man manage and interact with the SQL Server database. And you can see some of the more information for this tool by see the detail article here. Okay. Yeah, the loss complete, and you click on this to install it on this PC. Click on install button. Yeah, install successfully. Close this one, and also close this one. Uh, yes, okay. Open the Microsoft SQL Server, and you can see here in a start start application. We see that we have some the SQL Server our service and Microsoft SQL Server tool S10. Okay, we have the Microsoft SQL, Microsoft SQL Server Man management studio tool. Yeah, send it to desktop for a shortcut. Okay, here click on this one to open the. Microsoft SQL Server Man Management Studio Tool. Yeah. And firstly, you accept it by using the Windows Authentication Mode. Yeah. Go to Security, and you see that the Add a Account is bit small for now. Let me try to accept it by using Add a. Yeah. We cannot connect to this PC by using Add a Account. Okay, so now I will guide you how to fix it. Back right to the window authentication mode, connect, and go to the security again. Yeah, right click on the add account. Property. Yeah. And we try to change the password for add account. Click OK button and go to property again. Several user mapping and status. And in the status, you see here we have the some permission he already grants for login. It is disabled. We should enable enable it back. Refresh this one. Yeah. 
And you see here, the array account has been active here. Let me try to log in by using array account. Click on connect button. You see here, we still cannot connect it to the this PC database. Yeah. Let me log in again by using the window authentication mode. Right click on this PC name and property. Go to memory, uh, security. And in the security tab, you see that in the server authentication option. We have that enable it for window authentication mode. So now we should enable it boss for the active server and also window authentication mode. You can do some other configuration here. Okay. Close this one. Go to the service.msc. You go to the SQL server. Okay. So service is running. So now you should restart this service to apply the new update. Yeah, restart it or you, you can even stop it and start it again. Back right to SQL Server Management Tool. Yeah. And change it to SQL Server Authentication Mode. Connect. Okay. So here you can see that we can access into the SQL Server database by using the SA account. Go to the tune and design mode. Show here. You should uncheck prevent saving changes that require table recreation. Yeah, okay. I will try to create a database here for testing. CMV VS DB testing. Okay. Create a table. I will change the data type for ID to integer. Okay. Yes. Change identities specification to yes to make this one e auto increase. Save it up. Okay, close this one and refresh. Open the edit top 200 row. I will try to enter some the data here. Change to address Vietnam. Yeah. Change VS Vietnam. Hope Hoang Vietnam. Okay. Here and you see that here we can see like all of the data we have not been installed and we have not been entered here. Okay. Cool. Okay, so let me try to close this one. We go to uninstall. And so for now you can see that we have all of the services for FPF server had been installed in the program and future. Okay. And go to Microsoft SQL Server, Management Studio Tune. We can access into the SQL database by using this tune. Also using the uh, SA account. Okay. We can create a new database and also enter the data for this for the database. Cool. So, I think that's all for today. I hope this video will have fun for you. After you finish this video, you know how to uh, uninstall the SQL Server completely on the Windows PC, and then we install it again. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye-bye. See you guys in the next video.